Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to 1111 Tarot. This is your full wolf moon, January 28th for you. All right, let's travel right over to here. And this is your 1111 Wheel of Life. It is the board that I use for my spread because it brings in astrology, tarot, numerology, medicine wheel. It's just a beautiful spread. And it all starts right here in the middle with the center spirit actually being the great spirit source. We're going to start your reading off, Scorpio, with threats of fate and see what we get. All right, now I will give you a heads up. All of the readings have been very, very dark and very deep um, as we're going through this shift. This wolf moon is nothing um, but deep. It's like, it's not just about romance. It's about a lot of things going on within. So get your popcorn, get your tea, get your coffee, get water, whatever it is that's going to be your creature comforts, if you will. And let's settle in. All right, let's see what Great Spirit has to offer here. Reflect. Interesting, because swans mate for life. Third eye. Your soulmate's reflecting you. That's what I'm feeling. That's what I got, Scorpio. Your soulmate is, is reflecting you. And you are reflecting them. I'm seeing something. It's a butterfly. If you look like it's two-headed butterfly, see the wings? See the wings of the birds? They also make a butterfly shape. Wow. And then I feel like this is radiant, like the sun. Crown chakra. Ooh, it feels beautiful, too. Nice set of cards. All right, my lovelies, let's dig just a little deeper. We're going to grab the Moonology, which I think is very fitting. Wow. Just swipe left. Are you getting your courage up? Maybe you're going to get out there. <laughs> that was just weird. All right, here we go, Scorpio, my lovelies. <laughs> few of you are going to be like, yeah, I've been on that dating site. All right, here we go. In the East... It's your air sign. It's where the sun rises. Tell, I can never do this today. It's like Mars retro dryer. <laughs> I've got the giggles here, Scorpio. I feel really good today. Um, your energy feels a lot lighter than the other readings. So it's like a breath of fresh air, right? Air. There we go. It's all about the mind and concepts. So we're going to go ahead and use the Moonology deck to get this. In the East, in communication from the 5D. Look at me. I'm just shoving that reflect around. Why? The end of a tough cycle approaches. Full moon in Capricorn. Somebody else got this in the same spot, I want to say. Just can't remember who because I'm focused on you. <laughs> so you've been through a struggle and I feel like you're just about to get a solid reward. Like you're about to climb the top of a mountain. Um... I'm feeling something about a celebration, something big, something hidden that you don't even see coming. We may not see it here. It's like top secret. Somebody else I had that feeling with in the very beginning of my reads might have been an air sign. There's something top secret coming in. I don't know what that means, but it may resonate with you. Or it may be in your future, so you don't know, and something's going to surprise you. South Node, your Earth Realm, what's going on now? Balance, spirituality, and practicality, full moon in Pisces. Again, we have this twin reflection. So right above it, we have the twin swans, and now we have the twin goldfish. I feel like you're calling in your partner. And I think they're mirroring you. Could be Pisces. Maybe a Pisces in your chart. Maybe they do. Doesn't have to be. Piscean energy. Which is all about the unseen realm. What you don't see coming. 
So you definitely need to be participating in the mundane, getting yourself correctly aligned with things that serve you for your higher purpose, as well as making some spiritual choices for yourself and your life. Right? That's what the card's saying. We're going to move up here in the West. It is the fire. And this is all about what our ancestors are communicating from their hearts to us. You and your loved ones are safe. New moon in Cancer. Um, sister fellow water sign. <clears throat> Cancer is all about the fourth house. And this is the crab. Think of the, the, the snail in the shell. Yeah, like your your foundation is safe right now. You are being very protected by the divine. So that's a beautiful feeling. Let's move ahead to our North Node water sign. It's all about our spiritual success. Now we have Sagittarius energy entering, which is about our ninth house. It's philosophy and luck is on your side. I don't realize, I don't realize you don't realize how strong this is going to be. Like you've been straight as an arrow and it's in your north node. That straight as an arrow is bringing in this reward. I mean, the second you skip a beat, you just run ahead to catch up. You're like trying to keep up and you're doing a good job. So you have two new moons here, which is what you don't see. Because new moons, you don't see a moon. It's very dark, but the moon is there. And you have two full moons. One appears as blue, rich color. Blue is all about love, balance, spirituality, and practicality. Full moon in Pisces. All right, my lovelies, let's switch decks now. I want to come up here and I want to grab these blessing cards. I do not remember the name of them. I ask forgiveness and thank you. Here we go. We're going to qualify these Moonology cards. So we're going to start here again in the East. And the end of a tough cycle approaches. Full Moon in Capricorn. Damn! Scorpio! Like your ancestors are dancing. And celebrating. This isn't just a tough cycle. This is a completed event. Like generational healing. And you can see the celebrations coming in. Wow, that's what's being communicated from the 5D because it's all in the mind and concept. Let's clarify this balanced spirituality with this full moon in Pisces. Blessings, rainbows. That's incredible. A rainbow is a promise that's made by the divine. Balance your spirituality and practicality. In other words, strengthen your faith. That what you put out there to the universe is what you're going to get. And just enjoy what you have and be grateful. That's how you balance things. I am in love with your reading, Scorpio. Okay, we're going to come up here. You and your loved ones are safe. Volcano. Volat volatility. How do I say that? Volatility. Yeah, something's going to explode. Just know you're safe. Huh. You're going to have a tower moment, my love. You and your loved ones are safe. Even though it feels like everything went to hell, or it's about to, it's going to come back together. Because this brings in... This lava flows down, it cools off. And then if you ever look at a mountain that has lava, had run down it, it clears a new path and it brings in this lush abundance. There's someone up here. I see people. There's, there's a man sitting with his back on the bed. I'm trying to get it so you can see. There we go. That's about as good as I'm going to get it. Okay, and there's a woman leaning on his shoulder and she's like, please, please, please. But he's upset. I also see this face of this child. Do you see it? A sleeping child and someone's whispering it in her ear. Just trust your faith. 
you are protected through this event. Um, what you project out will be reflected. Just know that it's going to come out on your side, okay, in your favor. Let's get one more blessing card up at the top. DNA karma. Yeah, that's what I said. Generational changes. This is going to change things going forward. Karma is on your side. Karma is on your side. Blessings are coming in. Yeah. Beautiful cards. All right, let's get into the tarot. The tarot. We've got the chakra wisdom tarot here. Get your energy entwined. In case I haven't said it, all the decks have been pre-shuffled, pre-smudged, as well as premeditated on. All right, my lovelies, here we go. Ooh, high priestess. She that does not speak, of, but just knoweth. Somebody's gone within, and they're talking to the high priestess. They're following their intuition. Huh. And it's going to help you close the cycle and bring about celebration. Somebody's following what they know their intuition is telling them. Let's see what it's telling them. Whoa. Oh, yes. Serious cancer? No. I mean, I said cancer. I meant Scorpio. Where did I get cancer from? I thought, oh, new moon and cancer. Okay. Huh. This is wish fulfillment in a way of like, it's, it's still got that one cup missing, if you know what I mean. It's nine cups on the table. It's a wish made. And you're following your intuition to see if this is your wish. You might feel like the ground rumble under your feet. Just know you're safe. If somebody does express their wish, but it's not yours, you are safe, okay? And you do have things coming out in your side, on your side, with luck. Alrighty, righty, let's go ahead. And now we're going to work with the um, Tarot of the Celtic Berries. Absolutely beautiful deck, by the way. Beautiful, beautiful. And we're going to do some clarification here that's going to help us understand things a lot better. Let's make some room here. This high priestess, you know that your intuition is going to guide you to the right thing, to the right decision, because it's a celebrational dance. What is being shown to you through illumination? It's your 11th house. It's all about, you know, how others see you. It can be social media and things of that nature. You have the five of spears. So, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of push and pull. Look, he's got his foot on his knee, but they're not swords. Nobody's getting hurt. And look at the kitty cat. What is the kitty cat thinking? Just be careful. You don't get distracted. That's what I'm feeling. Don't let this overpower you because there's much bigger things to concern yourself with. That's what I'm feeling. Very solidly. In clarity, third house communication, you have the eight of swords. No, thank God. Eight of stones. Yeah, you're working on your craft. Yeah, don't let the distraction happen. That's what this feels like, that it's being illuminated. It's like, don't get distracted on this social media or how others see you or if you're interacting with people enough. Because right now is a time for you. In clarity, it's being shown to you. This is all about self-work cancer. I said it again. Scorpio, you're going to hate me if I keep this up. There has got to be something to do with another water sign in your chart, possibly a cancer. Could be it's in your natal chart or somebody that's going to come across your path. I know I'm talking about Scorpio. Look at these tiny little red shoes. There's something about those red shoes. Might be something about the color red. 
I'm not sure. He's cleaning his glasses and starting to work with all his tools. And he's building his product up so that he can get some stability in his life. Beautiful. And that's a clarity. Stay on what your task is. Um, whatever project you're working on or whatever you're doing, even if it's self-work or if it's actual products or you're starting a new business, whatever it is, you're being clarified here to continue your work with this eight of stones. Wisdom here. It's the seventh house. It's all about your commitment and stuff. <gasps> he got the judgment. Same as a tower. Volatile. Okay, something is going to, in wisdom, again, it's about commitment. It can be about one-on-one -on -one relationships. Something is getting totally tore down. Look at this. What are the fairies doing here? There's a beam of light coming down. And then the fairies are gathering for something. And this person just feels so hurt. And like they can't do anymore. Like they took their armor off. The battle is over. They put their shield down. And they put their helmet down. You need to ask for guidance. Inner guidance. That's the wisdom. Because he put down his shield. He put down his helmet. He put down his sword. It's like he's giving up. And that's not what we're doing here. This is where we get a fresh start. Okay, Cancer? No! <laughs> oh my God. Scorpio, let's go on record that there may be a Cancer crossing your path. <laughs> because I can feel Cancerian energy all over this read, Scorpio. Forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. Love, it's your 10th house. Here we go, Scorpio. Knight of Swords. <sighs> In love, 10th house. All about your life path. Don't let the devil run away with your head. Because this, this knight is the dark pony that has no head. He carries it right there. The skull. Those red eyes. Yeah. So you have this tower moment. And then somebody comes in. And I think this is a lot to do. With somebody that self-sabotages themselves out of love. Like they let themselves get in their head. Let the devil get away with their head. And they just overanalyze something to the point they don't rely on feelings. And this is a lightning pony in and out. They, they don't really... Stick around to feel that much because they do have emotions. It's in there. They just don't stick around to um, indulge that much. Trust. Here we go. Second house about your material wealth. Well, good news. You got the six of swords. You're moving to calmer ground. This guy's leaving work. You have these beautiful little fairies up here with this ribbon, this golden ribbon. Dropping off this magical wand, right? So you're being given some seriously good tools here. And you are moving forward. You can trust that it's coming along. And you're going to move to a lot calmer position in life, which is a beautiful. Let's move over just camera a little bit to grow. Six house all about your health, mental, emotional, and physical. You have the devil... Double, 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 double. Yeah, don't let the devil run away with your head. And then in growth, we have this toxicity note. Could be Capricorn, but I really do feel. Um, this is your health, too. So I do believe it's time to seriously look at some detoxification. Get some exercise, fresh air, some water. Take care of yourself as well as look around you and see what you need to truly cut out. See, this is a spell of protection. On this rock. That's what I feel. So I believe that's really important. That protection could be what this means. You and your loved ones are safe. You might have a devil energy. Somebody very toxic. Crossing your path. And you've outgrown them. Because it is in, in that position. But do take heed on your health. 
because it's your sixth house and that is all about taking care of yourself. Really taking care of you. All right, here we go. Material and physical realm. Ready, Eddie, Eddie. Here we go. Introspection. This is Sagittarian energy. Jupiter expansive, you know, making something intensified, if you will, and, and much bigger. And it's all about wisdom when it comes into that. And it's your ninth, ninth house. Um, it's introspection. Ninth house is about philosophy. Nine of cups. So, <laughs> Scorpio. Nothing new, right? This is toxic, but it's my wish fulfillment. <laughs> In the past, it was your wish fulfillment. Um, you have nine of cups twice. You continue to make this wish. And I, I feel like you never quite achieve it because on my channel, intuitively, it's not ten cups. It's not the complete set. We're missing a cup. So this is making a wish and not necessarily receiving the wish. And you've got it twice doubled up right here, one on top of the other, two, two different decks. And I feel in introspect, you feel like there was quite an imbalance. You didn't see how something would work. There was a mirror on the table or a fork. Oh, a fork. Somebody got fat and somebody got the leftovers. And um, that really bothered you, Scorpio. It really did. I've got to remember I'm holding a camera. Lordy, I just get so comfortable with you guys. And I forget that I'm actually recording this for you and that you're not right here with me. So you may have to like just deal with me. Okay, dream. I love you guys to the mood of back. Dream. Here we go, Scorpio, right? I say it like that because it's like, okay, does she even know who she's talking to? Yes, I do. All right. Fifth house. Fifth house is all about your eternal child, your creativity. It's your perspective, right? How do you see things right now in the material world? King of swords. So you went from the knight of swords to the king of swords. See a lot of hurt and pain in this card. Like somebody's just put their sword down, battles over again. And we had that where, you know, we've got this judgment tower right here in wisdom and somebody's feeling defeated. And I feel that with this king of swords, like, yeah, they got their point across, but it didn't do any good. Wasn't what they were hoping for. All right. Experience. This is your first house. It's all about your physical, you know, your temper temperament if you will ten of stones you you are making the choice this wish didn't work out it brought you this perspective of it was no good and if you're going to manifest you're not wanting to manifest more of this you're going to change it into this stability coming in yeah see that seam that string is getting pulled and out comes all those coins it's going to be very very lucrative Think about it. You've cut luck on your side and you have a leprechaun with his money bag and there's a rip in it and he's trying to pull it by a string and it's going to bust open. And look at the crack. It's all that money. A lot of it's going to fall in the crack. So pay attention because you have the opportunity to really gain something like a karmic reward for withstanding this test, if you will. Right. In cleansing. Spiritual success, and this might be the as above, as below, as within, as without, the proper reflection. Getting yourself aligned properly. We're going to cleanse something out here. We're going into the 12th house, the unseen realm. Are you shitting me? You get the tower. It's being cleansed. <clears throat> That's good news. So, in a very quick time between now and... And right around that full wolf moon, before or after, you're going to get this judgment, this wild decision that gets made. And it's going to bring a tower, and you're going to get cleansed out pretty quick. Um, and that's what you don't see. I don't know what this tower is. It's not necessarily bad. It could be very, very incredible because you have this rainbow blessing balancing your spirituality and practicality. It's something that you know is due you. Right? Explosive could be expansive, like volatile in that way, too. Could have to just simply to do with a, a fire sign. Let's move up here 
to continue our spiritual success, what do we need to renew here? It's our eighth house, which is all about transformations and um, inheritance and that forth. You've got ten of swords renewal. Thank God, right? Because you went through something that tore your heart out. Cut it right out. And you're being renewed. Something is changing. It's a tower that heals this pain. A tower moment that heals and changes your DNA up. And it's luck on your side. Something you do not see coming. Like not in a million years. Impurity. Here we go. Page of one. Page of spears. This is a message of passion. And it's unique. Yeah. <laughs> what a goofy character. Look, they have one eye. Yeah, I like that. They're single-minded. I think you're going to be shocked that you align in the... Um, because this is impurity, your fourth house, all about your home, your foundation, um, your moral standards that build your life. And I feel like you're going to be of one eye, one third eye, like-minded with this very passionate. Look at the water. Just beautiful. Wow. I told you, Scorpio. I told you it was going to be big, 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 deep, deep, deep reading. I mean, seriously, look at the colors in this beautiful reading. I have enjoyed this time with you immensely. I know it's a little longer read than normal, but I thought this was something very important to see. Don't let the devil run away with your head. This means don't give in to somebody that doesn't bring you 10 cups, right? Because you've got the nine cups yourself. They just need to bring their own cup. Yep, even give and take the balance of as below, as above, as above, as below, as within, as without, as without, as within. I don't know if anybody else says it that way, but I just did. You and your loved ones are safe. And I know you're not cancer. I know you're Scorpio. I love you. You might have cancer coming across, across your path. Love you to the moon back. Bye, Scorpio.